What is up, Karatics? Welcome to another video. This will be customizing the brand new Karen Sultan Classic in GTA Online. It is right here. Almost $1.3 million. That is an insane amount of money. This car released officially today, January 16th, 2020, at about 4.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Very good looking car. So finally, we have a new Sultan in the game. I mean, it's been forever. The last time we had a new Sultan was the Benny's Upgrade Sultan RS, which came out in January of 2016. So here we are, about four years later, and we have a new Sultan in GTA, so it's been a while, it's been a long time. So I went ahead and bought the Sultan Classic right here, and I went ahead and parked the other Sultans uh, next to it. So this is my regular Sultan here from off the street, been in the game since day one. And then the Sultan RS from Benny's from 2016, I have two of them, I have a rally build and a street build. Him right there. Love this. So, this is the new one right here. Very anticipated vehicle. Um, it was right on the website to be released, but Rockstar kept giving us other vehicles instead, like the Zaba and all that stuff. And then the Morgan from last week, so a lot of people were impatient, but now it's finally here. So, it's now in the game. Love the car. So, what's this primarily based off of? For those of you Subaru fanatics, I'm sure you've been known already since you first saw it in the leaked pictures and all that, but it's primarily based off the Subaru Impreza GC8. Love this car. I mean, kind of, you know, iconic in Subaru's history for rallying and all that stuff, so it's just a gorgeous car. And obviously, there's so many different variants. You can do a bunch of different builds on STI. Or WRC 97, WRC 2000. I mean, you can just go crazy with the builds. And Rockstar did put a good bit of customization available as well. So we're going to make a nice build here today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Got the same interior there from the regular soul. That amazing aisle sound. Great. Right on the D-pad modify. What she need, then? So it is in the sports class, so it's called the Karen Sultan Classic, and it's in the sports class. Some people Anything think it's in the sports do? classics class, but it's Anything not. It's all? in the sports class, thank god. And thank god it's not in the supercars class, like the Sultan RS for some reason. I don't know why Rockstar did that. We had the original Sultan, the four-door, in the sports class. Then we have the Sultan RS Benny's, which is in the supercars class, which made no sense at all. Um, but at least the Sultan Classic's in the sports class as well, so as the original, so that's nice. So, let's jump right into it. Armor, brakes. Alright, front bumpers. So, for this build, we're going to go with Rollin McRae's WRC97 build. I think it's going to be an awesome build to do. Um, obviously, a lot of people are going to be doing rally builds, but I just I think it'll be cool. I'm probably going to end up buying a second one of these to have as like an STI build, it? a street build, so I guess we'll see how that goes. But anyways, right into the bumpers. There you go there. So personally, I think the closest one is probably going to be a street bumper. It's going to be the closest one we can get out of all of them there. So let's go for the street bumper. Is looking good. I think that's, yeah, that's the closest we're going to get. All right. Rear bumper. So the, the real one doesn't have any rear bumper lips. I mean, I'm just going to show them to you guys either way. So here are all the different ones that you can get. Need that stock there. Engine upgrade, definitely. Exhaust. Okay, so you got the stock titanium one there. No rush and you got all. all these different versions here. And then here you can get a bigger exhaust, which I'm definitely going to do one of these. And then you can do a dual big bore carbon. I think the big bore titanium is what we're going to do. Love that. If I hear you. Headlights, so you can do the plastic housing, primary housing, secondary, or carbon. So I'm not going to do any housings at all. I think it looks good the way it is, so I'm not going to mess with that. Hood. Stock hood there. Got this little secondary version of the stock hood. Got carbon, sticker bomb, vented. So our first vented option here. I love Whatever this. Whatever you desire. Technology and budget permitting. Okay, got the performance hood, and you got the GT hood, love this, different variants of that hood, got a race hood, 
bunch of different good parts here. So to go with hmm. how many cars you got in this garage again? Colin McRae's one had the this hood right here, I believe. But I want to I want to pick the one that's a little more prominent, like the WRC two thousand. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. I like this one I a lot. So let's do that. Got horns, lights. So you got the stock yellow headlights, and you can go xenons. Um, I'm gonna keep the stock yellow ones. Livery. You got classic stripes. You got a Karen stripe along the side. Very nice. You got shopping lists. So basically, all the logos there on the side. Making decisions. You got Fukuru Racing. There's something I wanted to mention here. Um, we might have mentioned at the beginning, but. This car does have some inspiration as well from the uh, first generation Evo, but it's mainly the Impreza GC8. You know, it's pretty obvious, but um, it does have some inspiration from the first gen Evo as well. Got the Street Racer one, very cool. The Infinite Rage, <laughs> that's funny. You got the Redwood Racing. Think long and hard. The Backside Skateboards is an interesting one. The tribal throwback. That's throw throwback. I can't speak today. <laughs> That's a good one. You got the Karen performance. So there is the famous livery. As close, close as you're gonna get to the rally car. Absolutely love that. So let's throw this one on here. Uh, do 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 Life plates. I was prepared anything. for this. Got my rally plate. There it is. Respray. So, um, to get as close to the WR uh, Pearl Blue, it's 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 difficult unless you use a crew color, because it's um it's kind of like the normal blue but a little bit lighter, and the racing blue is too light. So there really isn't one that's like super close from the normal paint options you can choose in the game. So you kind of have to use a crew color to get it you know the way you want. But um, I'm just gonna go with a standard blue with a ultra blue pearl, which is probably the closest you can do without using a crew color. So. We're gonna do there with Ultra Blue Pro just to brighten it up a bit. You've got an eye for this stuff. A secondary color would be your mirrors and no brake calipers, nothing inside. Okay, so the secondary color is just the mirrors and then whatever other um, options you choose, I guess. So I guess I'll just go um, throw a black on there. What the Ultra Blue Pro does look weird. I'll just, I'll just make it the same color. If you can think it, I can do it. Do, do, do. It was just a standard blue, so I can find it eventually. There we go. Your <laughs> okay, Kremlin would go right there on the side of the door if you want one. Okay, roof. You got secondary roof, carbon, or sticker bomb. Um, I, I want to keep the colors on the roof and all that, so I'm going to leave it stock there. Roof accessories, you have a roof spoiler. So um, you don't get any traction benefits until you get to the actual rear spoiler upgrade, no so these are just for looks. Primary sun strip. You got secondary, you got a roof scoop, secondary roof scoop, dual roof scoop, secondary dual roof, and roof box. So unfortunately, you can get the... Uh, the sun strip and the roof scoop together. So if I try to do it, it only lets you do one or the other, which is annoying, but um, I'd rather have the roof scoop, so let's do the roof scoop. Might as well. Okay. Skirts. So you got the rubber extensions. You got the street skirt, the GT skirt, and the tuner skirt. So, hmm. Whatever you desire. I'm gonna go Technology with again. This build is not a hundred percent like the uh, like Roller McRae's one, but I'm, I'm gonna make it as close as I can with what we have in the game, and I'm gonna change a few little parts here and there to make it a little more of a build that I like. So I think I'm gonna go with the GT skirts. All right, rear spoiler, low level wing, primary, secondary, got ducktail. So I mean, I love lip spoilers and everything. But unfortunately, um, yeah, this car, I mean, the Subarus, they're known for the big sporters and all that. They just look cool. Putting a ducktail on here is not really ideal. I mean, maybe if you're doing like a street build or something. Got all the different spoilers here. 
bunch of different ones. And then there it is, the extreme wing. That's as close as you're gonna get to the real ones. Love that. Extreme wing mark two. I can't really tell the difference. Unless I'm blind. Extreme wing, extreme wing mark two. There's nothing added to the rear window. Maybe it's just the primary and secondary color, I guess. Mark three is the carbon. But see these two, I don't see a difference here. If you guys see a difference, let me know in the comments. But unless I'm blind, but I don't see a difference here between the, the regular one and the Mark II. So you got the Mark III, which is the carbon, and then obviously the stock wing. So you definitely want to put one of these. You see the traction bar increasing there. So I'm gonna put the uh, the standard Karen Extreme Wing. Looks Love that. Almost as good as you. A suspension. So I'm just gonna show this. Obviously, I'm not gonna slam a rally car, but. Um, here, you know, all the different suspensions options. You can just straight up slam it if you want, which is hilarious. So, I'm going to keep the stock suspension, but I'm just, at least I was able to show you guys what, you know, it looks like if you're doing like a street build or something. So, it's right there. Transmission, trunk, secondary, carbon, and sticker bomb. That's pretty funny. Making okay. decisions is stressful. Turbo, tuning, definitely. Don't tell Wheels. All right. So for these, I'm gonna go here to the tuner category, get the Rally Masters on there. Got a wheel color, get them gold. Oh yeah. <laughs> this looks amazing, I love this. Okay. Windows. Are we gonna tint a rally car? I don't know. I don't know, but at the same time, we want the fishbowl. Hmm. I won't, I won't hit the rally car, but we'll keep it untinted. We got the uh, window spoilers. So that's basically these. There was also some spoiler, these spoiler options for that were tied to the roof scoop as well. So there's a Bubbles bunch of different ones here. Primary roof lip, secondary ducktail, performance. You know, you got all these wings here. I'm not going to put any of those, but, you know, if you want to, you can. All right, so there it is, all complete. Um, obviously, it's not a one-of-one -one copy. I did change a few things here and there, but I just I think it looks amazing. So let's go ahead and drive this. I'm really excited to drive this. Exit to the ground. Com you know, the way it compares to the Soldan RS that we've had in the game for a long time, and the standard one we've had in the game since the beginning. So let's rev it up a bit. Oh yeah. All right, let's go for it. Got all-wheel drive, yes. Accelerates good. Feels very solid, very stable. This thing is, is fast. <laughs> it's not slow, that's for sure. Handles very well. Come on, there we go. A little understeer there. I wish they would have given us a two door version as well. Again, I'm not complaining, but you know. <laughs> it would have been nice to have both the four door and the two door. Yeah, this thing is fast. <laughs> wow, very, very fast. Let's do an all wheel drive handbrake. Let's do a handbrake launch, see what that all wheel drive what it does. Oh yeah, very fast. Can it mid? Can it mid drive slash double clutch? I say both because you know in the community it's mainly known as double clutch, but people say the right way to say it is mid drive speed boost. Whatever you know, everybody knows what it is at the end of the day. But see what it does. Whoa! Just did that from the start. That's weird. Okay. For a second here. Eh, kinda. Obviously, with the all wheel drive cars, you gotta combine the handbrake and the regular brake together. Fun car. I mean, I'm liking this a lot. Now, does it feel faster than the Sultan RS from Benny's? You know, obviously that one's on the Supercars class, sadly. Um, I think the Sultan RS still feels faster, but this one definitely feels faster than the standard a Sultan get off the street. That's for sure, 100%. Awesome. I'm, I'm loving it. Um, Nick Rocker did a phenomenal job, especially all the upgrades. Uh, it's kind of crazy, you know, now we kind of had, we have a lot of Benny's customization 
in the uh, the normal customs and your CEO office garages and stuff like that, you know, you don't really have to have uh, cars from Benny's anymore because a lot of these have all those options. Now, obviously, we couldn't do a full, like, rally interior or anything like that, but, I mean, exterior-wise, it's, it's pretty much most of the Benny's upgrades. Um, let's open all the doors so we can talk about the engine bay. Vehicles, doors, let's do all. Oh, the engine bay looks good. That a twin turbo? Jesus. Oh my gosh. Wow. That, that looks ridiculous. Got the frameless windows there. Love that. Trunk open. Everything open? Man, complete car. Complete car. Man, for what? how much was this was almost 1.3 million? That's, guess, that's difficult to justify, but I mean, I guess nowadays cars that are under $2 million in GTA are kind of worth it and a little more rare. It's really ridiculous at this point, but um, I mean, obviously, if you're a Subaru fanatic or, you know, Subaru fan, there's nothing that's going to stop you from buying this car. I know that for a fact. Um, my recommendation, or not, not my recommendation, my opinion on whether it's worth it or not. I'm going to say to wait for a discount. If, if you're very, very tight for money, I say to wait for a discount. Or who knows, this might go on the casino podium. You never know. You never know. So definitely wait for a discount. Go on the casino. Wait for it to go on the casino podium. If not, just straight up buy it. You know, things really stopping you from doing that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.